Hi today's special fans, Nina Keo here, aka Muffy the Mouse. I just thought I would uh, make a little video and, and respond to some of the questions that came in during the live stream and some that came in afterwards because um, I had stories to tell and uh, somebody brought up Phil's visit and that was uh, an interesting show. It was a very hard show to do because of the nature of it, about the photographer coming in to take photos of Jody's uh, display work and so on and he, he turned out to be an alcoholic who really kind of intimidated Muffy and um, it was a very hard three days on the set because it impacted on so many people there, production, cast and crew, a lot of people had experience with alcoholism or living with somebody or, or a family member or friend and that whole sort of secret uh, aspect of it where, you know, Muffy, don't you tell anybody or else. Um, I was in a funk for three days and the set was just not the usual funny, uh, loose, joking place that it usually was. The same with Hazel, um, the butterfly dying. And the fellow, the actor who played Phil was also the star of Fraggle Rock, which you know, all, again, all across North America. And Gerard, um, he stayed in character even when we were on breaks and on lunch. And so he was this kind of stayed in this mean kind of uh, personality and you couldn't talk to him and he didn't, he was just like this. And, and uh, anyway, that's, it was not the greatest, most fun three days, but I think it was a very important show. And we did get a um, response to it. And Clive, our director, I think he was a bit nervous about putting it up because uh, he knew it was a very serious issue and that there could be some negative fallout from it. But I think it was really good that we did it. And I would love to hear from you if you felt that way or whatever way you felt about it. Could you leave a, a, a note down there? Because um, I'd love to know. Um, the thing about Hazel's death, the butterfly's death, that was our way of of uh, dealing with another serious topic for kids, and those kids are you. Uh, I wonder how you responded to that and what you felt about that. And again, if you want to leave some kind of a response, what you felt back then, what you feel now about it, that would be great. Um, meanwhile, um, Sesame Street was dealing with you know, Mr. Hooper dying, so I mean, they were dealing with a real person dying, and we were trying to go at it in uh, a, a gentle way um, with the butterfly. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, and uh, the, only, <laughs> the only light thing about it was we did get uh, one response, and we thought, okay, well, it came from uh, what, whatever butterfly enthusiasts are called. I can't remember. Anyway, we got a note. Nothing about the show or the content or the wonderful script or the, you know, the sadness of it all. It was just about the fact that the butterfly had, that was made, that was very expensive uh, to be made by our, I guess our props department. It had one little marking on it or something that was wrong and that's what this person wanted to comment on. So we kind of got a, a chuckle out of that. Um, did anything go wrong was another question. Um, Oh, lots of things go wrong, <laughs> you know. Um, I remember when we were uh, taking Muffy on her scooter and she was trying to find a new house. You remember her old house was being torn down. And, um, and so she was sort of riding by as it was all coming down with the bulldozers and everything. And we were coming up a very busy street in Toronto. And I was uh, using my remote control to you know, turn Muffy's head and looking around and also to keep her leg going, sorry, to keep her leg going and um, keep the little scooter, you know, the wheels going and so on. And I just remember that uh, at one point people, this was in the middle of rush hour traffic and people were stopping and, you know, uh, cars were stopping and looking. And um, so it was a bit crazy. Um, 
And the other time was when Muffy, when we were in the store and Muffy was on her scooter and uh, I really had to get the hang of this remote control thing because I'm used to having my hands on and just her coming down uh, one of the aisles and making a turn and just like crashing over, you know, every time until I finally got used to getting her around that corner going so quickly. Um, there were just, I don't know, there were lots of things. There was... There was one where Bobby and like Sam and Jody were out and they were, Jody had to run down the hill and in the uh, outtake she actually was running so fast she couldn't keep up with herself and she fell, she just fell down this hill and so that's on an outtake reel. Uh, it wasn't really funny though, I mean, I think she kind of hurt herself. Um, what a trooper though. Uh, let's see, the Muffy's house uh, going on fire. I just, I remember that. That was, that was intense because uh, I don't know if we had the fire department there or not just to be on standby. I remember lots of, you know, fire uh, extinguishers and, but I'm sure they must have had somebody from the fire department because we really did set a fire. Uh, and, um, so I think probably I was wearing a mask, and uh, I, I, I don't think I was that close to the fire, but I, it was really impressive what they did with that, I think. I mean, our, our crews and, and props people, and gosh, everybody were so fantastic, and I talked about it being like a family, and it was just a joy to come in every day and, and um be with these people and say good morning and you know what are we going to do today and to, and we all kind of said oh my god to come in and get paid for doing something that is so much fun and such a delight to do and knowing that you guys out there were uh loving the show um so and i, I don't know if i talked about when we had gone to the three theaters big theaters I called our world tour, the Today Special World Tour, and we had gone to three very big theaters in Canada, and that people were uh, trying to, like, they were scalping tickets outside the theaters because they knew this was a show that was going to sell out, and it was just, uh, I don't like scalping of tickets at all, but I, I, it was kind of like, wow, that's something, we must be doing something right here, it must be important. <laughs> Anyway, it's an exciting memory to, to remember. And if I come up with any more sort of neat uh, um, memories, I will just do this, I think, and put it up for you to, uh, to see and remember. And again, if you can post your responses to anything like I've been talking about here, please do it. Okay, so stay safe, everybody, and uh, we'll see you soon.